Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Rad. Welcome to Radko Tarot and this is going to be a Leo Sun, Leo Moon and Leo Rising. A weekly tarot reading <clears throat> for March 25th to March 31st, 2019. And as per usual, as I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to remind you uh, once again that this is going to be a uh, general reading for Leo Star Sign. And for that reason, the reading is going to resonate um, in a different way in, and in a different level with every single different Leo. So if you want personal reading or personal touch on your personal situation, uh, meaning to be analyzed by me through Tarot and to give you a, a, a prediction for it for the future, uh, then that is a subject of a private reading. And uh, for such, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings, which are starting from uh, just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the live readings. So that set aside, uh, going to Leo uh, weekly, re weekly reading, the first card that is going to be the topic of your week and we do have the world card there. Followed by the second card, which is the, how you should not proceed in regards to the world that is going to be the Knight of Pentacles. Then the third card, this is going to be the positive approach toward the situation here. Uh, that will be the star card. And the last card, which we do have, uh, is the final outcome of growth. Should you follow here the guidance of Tarot, this is going to be the Six of Pentacles. So once again, <clears throat> the world card is the first one topic. Uh, then it is uh, the negative approach toward the situation or what you should avoid doing here. That will be the Knights of Pentacles, followed by this third card, which is the positive approach, intentions and what your aims should be. That will be the star, the star card. And the last one, final outcome of growth, Six of Pentacles. So a uh, pretty major week for you, Leo, for what it seems, uh, that is because we do have the world card on the prime position and it does point, guys, that you are going to have one or the other way, a, a peak of experience. And for some of you, this week is going to, let me show you the world card here. For some of you, this week is going to be a week where you finally, finally uh, a, achieve something you chased for a long, long time. You know, long desired achievement is finally, uh, is finally reached. Uh, a completion. This is about what the card is pointing. Completion over an important project, for example, or something into your relationship as well, uh, which is going to provoke a, a peak of experience, like I said, and as well is going to liberate you from that specific situation. So uh, what happens after that? Well, after that, it is about a cycle ends, <clears throat> you know, and then a, a new perspective should be seeked and should be aimed to emerge very, very soon with the world card. Uh, the accompanied, it is the um, hierophant here, the formation is uh, passive uh, friends and there is nothing abnormal. I mean, this is the just the, I already said it, the culmination, but it's also the most natural way how things should have should have turned out into your environment, either the project into your career or either the, um, the stuff into your relationship. But with the Hierophant, it is important to use the time of the week because I said that you have to think of a, a, a new goal, a new aim. And Hierophant asks you to first define it through um, kind of like cancel yourself or being told by someone who has a, a greater experience than you. And as well, if you know that that new goal of yours, it's kind of like a, a very difficult, especially at the start, to establish any foundation about it. Uh, the Hierophant shows you that you can uh, find a, a benevolent support for throughout the week. But should the world be connected to some issues because the world could point a culmination of a certain issue, you know, and finally, finally, uh, kind of like sorting it out in either a positive or a negative way. Uh, a positive way can be um, achieved here with the Hierophant as a supporter is uh, that you seek the resolution into or into the already into the already frame into the framework of the established uh, patterns and convictions um, as well. So um, we can see that this week is going to give you a lot of answers, 
and is going to allow you, you know, to finally cross certain finish lines um, in your life. Uh, the cards could uh, literally relate to everything, guys. It could relate to the one uh, step of the relationship ends, you know, and another one comes around, which could mean engagement, marriage, pregnancy, and so on and so forth, you know. But whatever your experience is, whatever you finalize at that point, you know, you should start looking toward a the distant future. And that is very well what the second card points. We have the uh, Knights of Pentacles. So Knights of Pentacles, it's a very, very materi uh, meticulous uh, representation or the card re represents a person who is very, very meticulous, very methodical with their actions and always seek for a perfection. So what the card points is what here in this follow-up is what has been done, it's done. Trying to proceed with it uh, forward, um, seeking for ultimate perfection of it, either over the project or either over the relationship is going to be stressful and is just going to deprive you from having a time of rest before you actually embark this new road in your life. So the Knight of Pentacles here into that position, it does point not to be a way to how can I place it? Demanding regarding the minor details that are surrounding your situation. If the problem is resolved, that's great. You should not dig into it any deeper than that. If the project is successful, you know, you should kind of mark it as successful instead of trying to even uh, make it, how can I place it even more successful? I don't know how to explain it really, but I, I hope you get what, it, what I mean. For example, if we're following the engagement, you know, you're getting proposed, with engagement bring the circumstances of not of your liking, for example, your partner propose you, I, I don't know, at home, you know, but you have imagined that they're going to propose you at a, um, at a crowd or they will have a billboard committed to it. Well, these cards advise you to accept the proposal, you know, if you want to get married, just don't be pedantical about the circumstances, don't be meticulous about them, just, you know, take the win, guys, and move on forward with it. The accompanied card, this is going to be the Tree of Pentacles here. Formation is a passive supporters. So <clears throat> it's, it, it does point that the more deeper you dig, the more sluggish the situation is going to become with this card. And uh, that's, it's, it, it, what, it, what it does point is that you're as well going to drag many other people in it. So it's not just only you that is going to feel stuck but also people that are involved into the situation itself, they are going to feel stuck as well. The more you talk about it, the less sense is going to, uh, is going to obtain, or rather like it's going, the less sense is gonna have in there into the, uh, into the situation itself to a point where you're going to realize that you can't improve it any better than that and you have just wasted your time. So, you know, uh, once again, for you, Leos, uh, it will be good if you draw the line throughout this week and just recognize what one can do in a sense of that, you know, one can do just so much and trying to do even better than that. Uh, it's going to be stressful, futile, and there is no point of doing it, you know, investing so much resources into just making your win a greater win rather than, you know, focusing on winning something new or conquering something new like I don't know, you know, investing into a new project or start planning your wedding and so on and so forth. So don't be stubborn. <clears throat> it is uh, what I'm trying to say. You know, that makes me think of a, um, I had a friend uh, in the past, you know, and uh, it, it was about geography, geography in the high school and he had a ace on geography in a high school, but he thought that he does not deserve the ace, you know? He told that he needs to go to a, um, a cumulative exam where you kind of like hold an exam over the whole material of the four years of the uh, of the high school. And so we he get there and he get false, you know? So this is what we're talking about here. You get the win, you move on and, uh, or you accept the win, you know, you move on from there. Don't think about the circumstances or the means, how you get, how you achieve the wins, the win under what kind of circumstances and just 
focus on a new perspective that emerged soon. Because this is uh, the uh, positive card here, how you should approach the situation. Looking with the star card, it is about looking toward the, uh, the distant future, making plans for it. Know with the star card that you're not gonna be alone in there because the star does represent as well a, a huge support from the people which are involved into that situation. So if it is about wedding, uh, your partner, is going to support you in any way they can. Uh, the card is very positive if we're talking about the finalization of an issue, sprangles, problems, and so on and so forth, basically points that the turmoil is over and you don't have to dig into that turmoil. Again, you know, just make the clean break with the past and try to focus on the long-term goal, on a new long-term goal that is giving you something to look forward to. So the star card, it is very potent as well for those who are single, you know, because this reading as well could mean that um, your life of singularity is over and you are gonna have the peak of experience here, seeing that someone has an interest in you. Uh, they may share as well that they do have an emotions for you and it's good to take it, you know, with the, uh, with the star card and try to plan for the, uh, for the distant future. Like I said, one life cycle ends, another one starts, which is gonna be different from the first one. Uh, the accompanied card with the star, this is going to be the Nine of Cups. Uh, the formation is active neutrals. So it looks like that it will require as well quite of a commitment and devotion from your behalf in order to um, uh, solidify on this um, exhilaration and a happy moment that you're going to have. What I'm trying to say here is, is that just because the circumstances are right with these uh, cards we do have, and you know, you, you reached your completion and now you're focusing on the long-term goal, just thinking, just having the thoughts of that long-term goal is not enough to get you there. I mean, you need to solidify on the, uh, on the exhilaration that these thoughts are giving you, meaning that you should kind of like exert performance. You should not stop working for traversing this short-term happiness uh, show, shown with these couple of cards, you know, into a, a long-lasting one. And with that combination, it is definitely, should you be determined enough, you know, and should you not stop working toward this goal at the end you will have a wish fulfillment a lot of content as well you know a lot of exhilarating and, and, and sensual enjoyment at the end of this new beginning of yours that happens throughout this week so um <clears throat> The, the only way that I can describe to you is that if we go with the wedding, you know, uh, example here, uh, you shouldn't take it for granted in any means, you know, because that person proposed you and you took the proposition, it doesn't mean that if you start slacking and then, you know, creating additional problems, they will be patient to the end. I mean, if you cooperate with them, they're gonna cooperate with you and everything is gonna be beautiful. But if you give them a hard time, they're gonna give you a hard time and it's not gonna be beautiful at all. So yeah, guys, just before we go to the last card uh, to summarize the reading thus far, uh, it looks like that uh, once again, is gonna be quite of a major week for you, uh, Leos, and you gotta seek to resolve as many problems as you have career and relationship wise, and to finalize as many projects or endeavors as you, uh, as you can there as well, because new perspectives are awaiting you just behind the corner and uh, you will need the free time and the free space in order to take on those uh, new enterprises. And the last card that we do have, this is going to be the Six of Pentacles. Um, as a final outcome of growth, the card represents a lot of openings. It does represent that the current is going to be your current as well. So everything is gonna go smooth. You will be able to exert yourself and express yourself in general creatively you know, regarding your career and especially relationship wise, the Six of Pentacles does point to reaching a, a solid common ground. It's not just common ground, but being on the same page 
with the person you are with as well. So a lot, a lot of issues and a lot of insecurities are going to be resolved at the end of the week. Should you follow here the guidance of Tarot, just like I said uh, at the start, and the accompanied card that is going to be the Six of Wands. We have double sixes, so we're definitely talking about more about human interactions, family relationships, and in generally um, creating a, a stable environment for your um, efficiency and productivity for the future moving on forward. But because with these cards, guys, you are going to have your recognition and the rewards of your labor that you are toiling for like I said, traversing the short-term happiness into a long-term one. And uh, with the Six of Wands, many, many other um, exhilarating and peak of experiences moments are awaiting you into this current, into this flow that you are going to embark after that. Uh, so uh, what it seems here, Leo, um, uh, that week, only thing that is going to require for you, it's not going to, it's not to be unyielding, you know, regarding the achievements that are presented to you and that you are going to reach for throughout the week and just, you know, accept your win, take it, don't ask uncomfortable questions or kind of like, I don't know how you say it, you know, yeah, it's uncomfortable questions and just move on guys. Be glad that you are reaching such a milestone and start working for traversing the happiness from this milestone into a long lasting one. So that being said, Leos, this was your weekly tarot reading for uh, March 25th to March 31st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, this was a general reading for Leo Star Sign. And for that reason, the reading is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level as well with every single different Leo. But if you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded services and $15 for the um, live reading services. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.